This is a story about an amazing girl and her two wonderful pigs. Ori, our heroine, has recently been forced to flee the safety of the known after saving Hamilton from an evil, mysterious pignapper and make a new home in the vast wasteland of the desert. Having built the perfect little starter oasis of a home, it was time for Ori and the boys, Hamilton and Tater Tot, to do some exploring and see what treasures they could find in their new desert. Not far from where they settled down, they came across an abandoned village filled with zombie villagers. Quickly dispatching the zombified monsters, Ori checked out what remained. In an old library, shoved behind some stacks of old books, Ori found a dusty, intriguing journal. The journal spoke of a mysterious stronghold that not only provided a gateway to an endless dimension, but of untold knowledge that would change the world we knew. Intrigued, Ori packed the journal away and continued searching the long-forgotten village. Finding a few treasures and the journal, Ori returned home with the piggies to think about the stronghold. By themselves, strongholds can be pretty dangerous places to venture, and with such important knowledge, this one was sure to be increasingly more difficult. Should she face it alone? Should she ask for help? Who could she trust? The only people she knew to ask, after all, were from the village that she just fled. Would it be silly to go back and tell them about this? Knowing that she still had a few friends that she could trust, Ori reached out to them. Careful to not let them know too much about where she found the journal, she was joined by Van Duran, the clever and helpful sloth, and Obi-Wise, the thoughtful Jedi. Together, they set off to explore the stronghold. Besides the normal strongholdy findings, they found two mysterious libraries. The first was beautiful and overgrown with a giant tree growing in the middle of bookcases covered by vines. In this library, they found a shrine to a book that was filled with clues regarding a power that if harnessed with others, the world could be at peace and in harmony. Eh, sounds pretty cool, I guess. The other library, though, was dark and musty and filled with charred remains of books due to what seemed like an explosion. Among the wreckage and the smoke, they found another shrine. This book was filled with clues alluding to the same power, but there were urgings for a solo adventurer to control the power and rule over the world as they saw fit. Confused and overwhelmed, Ori left and returned home to her pig family to try to make sense of what this could mean. Should she ignore these books because they would only bring trouble? Should she find like-minded comrades to join up with to put the world on a path for good? Or should she embrace the fact that no one's trustworthy after all, so she should just force peace on everyone, whether they like it or not? Well, I guess we'll find out next time.